Are you serious? This is the best day ever! Someone just left a Kit Kat there. King size. A Kit Kat. Are you ready? I'm ready for day 63. Day 63. <laughs> and it is 8.17. Not too bad considering we didn't get to sleep until nearly midnight. 12.45 because of the train. 12.45, yeah. The train came in at least 45 times during the night with 45,000 decibels of sound. So we woke up about 45 times during the night. Exactly 45. Exactly 45. Guys. Yeah, so a lot going on down there. This is why we try to avoid people. We have a good day today. 18 miles or so, 18.6. I think we got it. The rain cleared up for today, which is very nice. A uh, little treat, so we don't have to worry about that. It's gonna be a really, really good, good day, huh? Good day! Yeah? What else are we doing today? We're hopefully gonna see our friends who are at Angel's Rest. Right, yeah, so McConaughey and Square Pie. And Chris and Rockin' Robin. And yeah, they all stayed at the Angel's Rest uh, hostel last night, so they might catch up with us. But uh, yeah, look at all the wild strawberries. There's a lot of them over here on the side of the trail. Wow, not ready for picking. I don't, I don't think. When do you pick strawberries? Maybe July. In July, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Not ready for picking yet. Ah uh, yes, and we've come to the water that. Well, it's it's dry, but. Um, I guess this water leads to the the dump or something. Yeah, don't drink that. It says it right there too. You're silly if you drink that. It's dry right now though, so. Oh dear. What are you doing? Eating some roadies? <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll fall. Oh, there it goes. See you dear. Bye. Wow, there it goes. Ooh, look at this. Private property. Well, there you go. Pretty wild how many easements people, uh, you know, people have when the trail goes through their property. Another road. And... I don't know where to go either. Oh, there it is. Is this it? Is, yes, okay. So yeah, this is just someone's driveway. I guess. Oh yeah, just follow someone's driveway. <laughs> well, that's the AT. Just pulled this guy off a trail. He wasn't moving. We thought he was toast, but I put him off to the side and now he's all happy again. So, <laughs> he's good. That we was so sad. I thought we were going to have to have a frog funeral. No, he wasn't moving. We were just, I scooped him up and put him off to the side and, and then he hopped, so. He's all good, everyone. Well, it's been a while since we've seen a bald. No way. Oh, wow. Are you serious? This is the best day ever. Someone just left a Kit Kat there. A king size. A king size? Are you going to take it? Totally. Man. You touched it. Oh, there's the shelter. Yo, this would be an This was an awesome shelter to stay I'm at. This. Look at this freaking tent spot right here. Wow. 
Ain't that something? And over there, over there is beautiful West Virginia. Which we're actually gonna be straddling the border of for a few miles. West Virginia! Who left the Kit Kat? That made my day. It has just been wonderful. I'm so glad we don't have any more town shenanigans today. I'm very tired of town. So it's great to have a pack full of four days of food and know that we can just go until we can't go anymore. It's very freeing. Yep, so we're gonna be walking a, another dry ridge line for the next 10 miles-ish. And that ridge line is uh, part of the border with uh, West Virginia. It'd be kind of cool. We'll be dipping into West Virginia a couple times today. Um, and then not again until Harper's Ferry. We're all filled up on water, so we should be all set. But yeah, we're just, uh, when you look on far out, it's just a straight, straight shot across this ridge line. So, hey, at least we're going straight for once and all, not all over the place, as is uh, the usual for the AT. That's what I feel like today. Just a snail. He and I are one. <laughs> and I think we found like the best break spot ever. I found it. You found it. Wow. And right when we needed it. Right oh. in the middle of these Crikey. dry ridges. They're... Crikey. It's just... There's nothing up here. Nothing. There's nowhere to take a break ever. Nothing. No water. So, no water. Just uh, up and down and up and down. And the clouds are threatening like they did yesterday, but yeah. I don't believe them. Yeah. I don't believe it. No. Come on, Sky. Don't do it. Don't do it. Can you make the squeeze? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, what's on me? Let's get it. Thank you. So last night while we were night hiking, we were kind of talking about how through hiking together, we both definitely feel like it's one through hike through two of us and it really is just such a team effort and being able to share like every minute of your unique experience with another person just makes it so much more special. It's like what Christopher McCandless said, happiness is only real when it's shared. And I think that's very true when you're doing a through hike and can even be true with a tramily they might even know you better than you know yourself. The people out here are always looking out for you. But we were just reflecting on how different our experience is compared to those doing a solo hike. And I just have so much respect for those who set out on their own because my heart is so much more at peace knowing that we're gonna be together the whole time. and. We're always looking out for each other. Lately, I've been very much feeling like it's our through hike. It's just a team effort and that's really beautiful. I don't know why they do things like this, but they're making me look at it. Why would they have that sign there? This is, it just says National Forest Wilderness. And it's saying it to no one. <laughs> it's a nobody sign. That's not the first sign we've seen that's been, been like that. All day. There was a couple more red ones back there that were just facing into the trees mm -hmm. with paths down to them because obviously like everyone had to go look at them. I didn't, but They're I looked at that one though. That it's wilderness. Yeah, this, yes. what is wilderness? <laughs>
today has been just rock city. Just, yeah, it just gets so rocky up here on these ridges and haven't uh, seen any water. So running low, but the shelter is thankfully in two miles and we are actually descending now, finally, from this up and down rocky heck of a day but uh yeah we are happy to be almost done and uh it's gonna be like an 18 and a half mile day which is pretty good considering we have a four day resupply we're happy and whew, not too bad it's five o'clock so hopefully we'll be in camp in an hour well we got to the shelter and found a pretty good spot i'm just going cowboy camp right here now we're at the <laughs> point of our hike where we can't move anymore <laughs> so we lie down our feet feel like very tender meat tenderized very tenderized <laughs> all right guys just uh finished up our dinner had some angel hair delight and now we are hunkering down for the night and uh yeah it was a pretty good day today it's a full house here at the something branch the, the pine, swamp. pine swamp branch shelter it's yeah awful yeah now lots of great people here and not a lot of great bear hangs though yeah. had to had to work for that but but i got it hung yeah so we are ready we're ready to catch up on sleep after the choo-choo predicament last night, so. <laughs> yeah, no trains out here. No trains out here. Uh, ready to sleep. Yep. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Night, guys.